Hello. Hello, teacher. Hi, Diego. How are you today? Excellent, teacher. Okay. Ready? Yes. Okay, so this is what uh, what we had last night, right? We were working on on the past tense, simple past statements with uh, regular verbs, right? So we have irregular, first one, the first uh, videos were about the regular verbs. Now we have the irregular verbs. I'm going to repeat this one to refresh the verbs and the and the instructions okay this is the, sound. the sound is music hi everyone in this class you learn to form positive and negative statements using irregular verbs let's get started by listening and practicing these statements in the past using irregular verbs. Simple past statements, irregular verbs. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. You came home late. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. In English, we have two types of verbs. In our last class, we learned how to use regular verbs and learned the simple rule of adding ed to change those verbs to the past tense. We also have irregular verbs which are more complicated because there really isn't a particular rule to follow. You will need to learn them and memorize them. To form positive statements in the past using irregular verbs, we will follow the same formula as with forming positive statements with regular verbs. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. On these chart, you can see a few examples. If you notice, the positive statements have the verbs in the past tense. And the negative statements have the verbs in the present tense. For example, the past of the verb do is did, get up, the past is got up, go, the past is went, meet, the past is met, come, the past is came, have, the past is had. Let's analyze the first example. I did my homework. First we add the subject I, then we include the verb 
in the past tense, did. Finally, we add a complement, homework. To form negative statements, we will follow this formula. Subject plus didn't, the auxiliary didn't, plus verb in the present, plus complement. I didn't do laundry. First, we add the subject I. Then, we add the auxiliary verb to form negative statements in the past. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present. Do. Finally, we add the complement. Laundry. Now, it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to make positive and negative statements using these irregular verbs. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Okay, so this is about the past uh, tense with uh, irregular verb. And then here we have some of them. Okay, to practice, right? There are four conversations here to complete. So in the first one, uh, we have complete the conversation by using the correct form of the verbs in the past tense. And then we have the first one is you have a good summer. So what is the word that we should place here? Did. The auxiliary verb, the auxiliary verb did, right? So then we have, did you have a good summer? Okay. And then in the answers we have, yes, I did. I had. And then we use the, behind the affirmative sentence, we use the past tense, mm -hmm. had. Had. Right? I say, yes, I did. I had a great summer. Correct. Okay. Because this one is short answer. Yes, I did. And this is the long answer affirmative. Okay. The next one is an affirmative sentence. Went. With the past went. tense. Went. The verb went. Is went. Went. Okay. So then we have. Okay, and we can see that they are all correct. What about the conversation too? It says, do you? Go. Uh -huh. We go. use go because we are using the same uh, the auxiliary pair, right? But I say go. And in the answer, we say, no, I didn't. Stayed. I stayed. I stayed. stayed. Uh -huh. I... Okay. What about... God. Uh, God. 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 Okay, we have an interference, right? right. Check your microphone, please. Or is it me? No, not me, right? No, okay. Good, then say God. So then uh, we have the answer, but yes, they are correct, right? Did you go, stayed? Remember that this is also possible, right? To answer with a, a yes, no question. You can say, no, I didn't. But you can also give the, the long answer saying what you did. So, no, I didn't. I stayed home or I stayed here. Now, the next one complete the conversation by using the correct form of the verb in the past. Okay, so we have to do this. Did you take? Okay. You did take, right? Then we have, yes, I did. I took. I took. I took. I took. 
that's right. Okay, so we have I took. What about the next one? Speak. Did you speak? Yes. Did you speak? The next one? Read. I, okay. It says, no, I didn't, but I read. 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 Uh -huh. read. Only the, the pronunciation is different in the past tense. But the spelling, okay, the orthography is the same, right? Spell, read, read, read. And I watched. Okay, say I watched. This is the other one. That's a myth, okay? So we have verbs like watch, read, speak, talk, took, got, said, uh, went, had and did. Okay, there we have all the answers. Okay, then see there is no problem here. Then we'll go to the next one. It says, by the end of this class, at the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple tasks. Yes, no questions. Additionally, you will practice. That, you know, with um, conversation, illustrate how this topic is used in a real life setting. Okay. So we have the next video. What well, we practiced the other day. Questions we did. Okay. This is what we were practicing in the game. So this is the interrogative form. Hi, everyone. In this class, you learn to ask and answer simple past yes or no questions. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Did You Like It? Let's listen and practice. Did you like it? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow! Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Let's take a look at the questions on this chart. Simple past yes-no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. In order to form simple past yes or no questions, we can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark. A good summer. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, I did, or negatively by saying, no, I didn't. In our example, we can see that the question was answered positively, 
yes I did then extra information is given I had a great summer notice that the verb now changed to the past tense have turned into had let's analyze one more question I'll choose the last one on this chart did Erica and her sister go to Colorado first we will add the auxiliary did next we need to include the subject Erica and her sister after that we will add the verb in the present tense go I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary did finally we add a compliment and a question mark to Colorado to answer this question we can answer either positively by saying yes they did or negatively by saying no they didn't in our example we can see that it is answered by saying no they didn't then extra information is given they went to Arizona notice that the verb now changed to the past tense go turned into went now it's your turn to practice I would like for you to think about your last vacation and practice making questions and answers about it after you finish this activity share your work in our discussion forums Okay, do you have any questions? After that, we will add the verb in the present tense. We are using the auxiliary did. Okay, so you can see those are the yes no questions, right? Did you, did you have, did you play? If it is a um, a third person, you can use did Erica, which is did she, uh, did he, okay, doesn't, doesn't change, only the, the subject, right, if you're going to use she, if you want to use uh, you, we, did we, did they, okay, so you can use all those pronouns. Dudas, any doubt, or something no okay so then uh, here we have the knowledge check but in this one you have to unscramble the question unscramble the questions is to um, let's say to put the questions in the correct order to put the words in the correct order, right? Because here it says, watch television did you last night? So it's, uh, that's why, you know, they are, uh, scramble is revuelta, right? Como los huevos, you know, scramble eggs. Okay, so then we have here, it says, uh, then we have to unscramble is desenreda, right? So that would be the word, unscramble. Good, watch television did you last night? What is the correct question? Did you watch television you last night? Watch okay. Television last night. That's correct, right? When you say, did you watch television last night? Okay, remember that here you have to put the in uh, the question mark, right? Say, did, did you watch television? last night question mark what about the next one did you have did dinner, you have last, dinner night? last night yes did remember that in just no questions always the first uh, word is did then the subject did you the verb have and then the complement right did you have dinner last night okay and oops. did you go to work yesterday did you go to work yesterday okay here we have 
the question. And the last one. Did they did they go did they go on the did movie they on Wednesday? Did they did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Yeah. There you go. Did they go? They did go where to the movies when on Wednesday? Okay. That's the one. Let's see if they are all correct. Yes. Okay. Did you watch? Did you have? Did you go? Did they go? Questions about vocabulary or something? Teacher. Uh -huh. Teacher. Yes, Evelyn. Eh, eh, la última como. Okay. Porque yo en la última, de hecho en la plataforma la tengo mala. Did they go? Pero me sacó del sistema. Did they go to the movies? Okay. On Wednesday. Ajá. Eh, vea si le puso la, eh, la, la mayúscula o déjenme ver si hay algunas otras opciones. Probably. But right. estas son las dos opciones, opciones that you have. Did they go to the movies on Wednesday? And Thank you. Or did they go? Si puedo usar las minúsculas también. Pero en esta, si no puso la question mark, puede hacer. Quiero ver qué más puedo ver. Con mayúscula, la acepta también, pero aquí está con mayúscula. Or communism. Did they go to the movies on Wednesday? Okay. One of these two. Okay. Una de esas dos. Habría que chequear palabra por palabra. Acuérdense que esta es por ejemplo, por eso hago estos ejercicios con ustedes, porque a veces con un espacio que te dé de más, a veces ya no lo, ya no la toma como correcta. And then, let's see. ¿Eh? Solo un espacio le puse y ya me la dio negativa. Ok, ya me la dio. And then, si ya lo pongo acá, la submit, ya me la da como correcta, right? Eh, si le omito quizás la Y, por decir la Y, here, también me la da negativa. Ok, so then, I have to the Y. And that's correct. Let me see what else. Okay, let's go from the next collection. Okay, sorry. Okay. So, pero así queda. Did they go? Did they go to the movies on Wednesday or did they go to the movies on Wednesday? So, it's con mayúscula. You can use also small case, capital D, or a small case, very small case. Okay. No more questions? Okay, good. Uh, let's see the next one. Okay, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing summer activities, right? So we have. This one. Now listen. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn vocabulary for discussing summer activities. Let's listen and practice. Summer activities. Go hiking. Go swimming. Have fun. Have a picnic. Meet new people. Meet old friends. Play tennis. Play volleyball. See a movie. See a play. Take a class. Take pictures. Now, let's put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to put these vocabulary words into practice by combining them with these verbs. Go, have, 
meet, play, see, take. For example, you can go hiking, you can go swimming. After that, I would like for you to think about the last time that you went to the movies, for example, and share your experience. Whenever you have finished, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay. Combining them with these verbs. Go, have, after that, I will please, for example, and whenever you have finished, share your work in our discussion. Okay, questions about this vocabulary? Yes, teacher. Uh -huh. What's mean see a play? Okay, see a play is uh, when you go to the theater. For example, if you go and see the actor in front of you, that is a play. Like, for example, Romeo and Juliet. Uh, you can go, we don't have this kind of, a, a, let's say, art here in, in, in El Salvo, right? But in Europe, uh, Broadway, for example, Broadway in New York. Okay, you can go to Broadway and then you can see the actors in person. Okay, that is a play. You can see the Cinderella. Here, there is a group, Hamlet group. Okay, I think uh, the group of Hamlet, they represent uh, a tale, a, a, a cuentos, okay, and his, his stories and stuff like that. Okay, son como obras de arte, right? Obras, uh, in, in, uh, obras, right, that you can go and see in the theater. See a play. What else? Okay, thanks. All right. Another one? So, for example, we have go hiking, have what? You can go hiking and you can go swimming. Uh, have what? Have a picnic. Have a picnic and? Have fun. Have fun, right? Then we also meet. We meet uh, new people. New people. And we also meet old friends. Old right? friends. Old friends. Yes. yes. And then we have a uh, play. Tennis. Tennis or volleyball. Okay, we play uh, tennis. What is the other one? There's tennis and volleyball. Uh -huh. See, like you said, a, a play. Movie. See a movie or see, see a movie or see a play or see a play. That's right. And take take a class. Take a class. Take a picture. And take, take a picture. Take pictures. That's correct. Okay. Good. What else? Only that. All right. We have, okay, I see that we have some 20 now. Okay, voy a tomar ahorita la captura de pantalla antes. Se me vaya. Vamos a tener problemas más tarde, sí. Okay, so just let me check here. One, yeah, this is the chat. Okay. Okay, just one more second. Okay, so that's it. Okay, good. So then, uh, no questions about it? Then we're going to work in groups. Okay, we're gonna have, uh, let me see, 28, uh, 
uh, 10 groups. Five, six, seven, seven groups, okay? Then I'm going, uh, there will be two and three uh, participants in each group. Now, what you're going to do is this, you're going to practice verbs in past tense, okay? So you have to use questions like, did you? Okay, for example, what did you do today? Uh, did you have lunch today? Did you have dinner yesterday? Uh, where did you go? Okay, did you do your homework? Did you practice English? Okay, any question that you can ask um, in a, about the personal life. And you can invent the answers, right? You're going to answer, yes, I did, or no, I didn't. Okay, and also you're going, if you say, no, I didn't, then you have to say what you did. For example, did you go to, did you study today? Did you study English this afternoon? Said, no, I didn't. I had to go to the supermarket. Or oh, no, I didn't. I went to the doctor. No, I didn't. I had to finish uh, a report for my boss. Okay, so you have to use, uh, if you said negative, you have to say what you did. Okay? Now practice all the verbs that you can in English. I will visit your groups. And if you have questions, let me know, okay? Now, here we go. About 10, 10 to 12 minutes, more or less, okay? Uh, because of my dad, rest, rest, teacher. How do you say? How do you say? Uh, descansar in English. Rest. 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 Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay, Claudia. Because my day the rest. What was the question? No more questions. No more questions. ¿Cuál era la pregunta? <laughs> eh. uh, the first question, it was... Uh, uh, did you go? Did you work today? And Claudia said, uh, 
I didn't I didn't work today. Okay. And I I have a I had a question. Okay. I ha I had a question. Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. I had I had a question. Uh, why didn't you work today? Why and didn't why Claudia? Didn't why didn't uh -huh, why work? didn't why didn't you work today? Uh -huh. And Claudia said said me, este Claudia, Claudia because it's my ah uh, Claudia told me. Uh, because I it's my day reset day. Okay, my day uh, off. More, more or less. It's my uh -huh. day off. So more or less. It's my day ah. off. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. off. My day off. What do you is say? The day. Okay. Uh -huh. My Claudia, day. Cla Hi. You say my my day my day off. Yes, teacher. My mm -hmm. day off. Or yes. my off day. No, my day off. Okay. Okay, teacher. Today is my off. day off. Tomorrow is my day off. Okay. Okay, okay teacher. Thank you. Okay, good. Now, uh, Susana, did you ask questions? Uh, not yet. Okay. Um, okay. Continue. Okay. 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 No, I didn't. Did you talk with your family? I didn't work. You work all day. Yes, I did. Okay. What did you do in, in the work? Mm. Um, I take, come on, I take pictures. I took. I took, mm -hmm. I took pictures. Um, quiero ver. Are you photographer? O no sé cómo se dice photographer. Photographer? photographer? No, no, I didn't. No, uh, are you a photographer? Did you say, no, I am not. No, uh -huh, no, I am not. Okay. Okay, more questions? Okay. Did you cook today? Mm -hmm. ¿Quién le preguntó? ¿Qué te gusta hacer hoy? Ah, vida. Ah, vida. Sí, porque no me dejaba hacer cargo de la respuesta. ¿Qué te gusta hacer hoy? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. Ok, yes, ok. Así, pregunta, did you, did you cook, did you play, ok? Yes, I, yes, I did, no, I did. Ok. Good, continue with the practice. Ok. 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 All right. Ahora que Aida nos pregunta, I like the wind. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Sorry. Yes. And, and I did do any career in the university. No, I didn't. Okay. Yo te escuché entrecortado, perdón, Diego. Repeat the question. Mm, 
place. Did you study uh, uh, any career uh, in the university? No, I didn't. In this moment, I, I don't study in the university. Okay. Uh, did you have a, a play basketball in the weekend? Excuse me. Hey, hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. How are you doing with the bus? No problem. No problem. Okay. Just oh, yeah. Did you? Uh huh. Yeah. Did you? Uh, did you go? Did you play? Did you buy? Yes. Did, did you watch TV today? Uh huh. That's correct. Okay, did you watch today? Did you watch did you watch the game today? Okay, so all kind of questions using past tense. Okay, good. Continue practicing, all right? 38 years old. Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay. What about you, coach? How old are you? <laughs> Me. Yeah, yes. it, it depends. Yeah, yeah. It depends on yeah, yeah. on Wednesdays I'm fifty, on Fridays I'm forty five. <laughs> that's good. That's good. It's nice, true fifty, right? Okay. Okay, good. Yes, this okay. is. Uh, but what, what was the question? How old? How old are you? Uh, how old are you? Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay, that's good. This is okay. Good. And then yeah. after, remember, you can uh, ask questions about the past. Right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, what, okay. did, what did you do when you were a kid and stuff like that? Good. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Continue with the practice. Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, no. When I was at about 14, 15 years old or 17, I played basketball in, in San Marcos. Oh. Because I have in. in, in no sé, un, un, un torneo nacional. So, some... Mm -hmm. National tournament. Ah, hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> in a national because, tournament. Um, okay, tournament. because I was in national tournament. So, uh, some... How, how do you say partidos, teacher? Uh, games. Ah, okay. Games, uh -huh. So, I had some, some games in San Marcos. Okay. Mm -hmm. And what, what team I... were you playing with? Uh, it, it was in Ricaldone and Sacamil. Right. Because I I was in two teams. <laughs> was other times. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, that's good. Okay, very good. Continue with the practice. Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Talking about. Okay. It. Okay, good. Uh, Oh, see? Child. Child. Maybe we can say, uh-huh, child. My child. Uh-huh, children. Uh-huh, children. Children. Uh -huh. Children. 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 Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Children, okay. It's very difficult. Ah, uh, yes. A uh, lot work, a lot work, homework. Every day, every day is more so difficult. <laughs> yes. Yes, for the parents, it's very, very complicated. Yes. Because I see every year. Also, it's uh, uh, and sometimes. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. And for occasion. Mm -hmm. Occasionally. Sometimes and occasionally. Oh, yeah. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. You can say sometimes, a veces, or occasionally, occasionally. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Ajá, occasionally. Ah, okay. Yes. I don't play because I don't know how to play. <laughs> you don't play chess? I don't know play soccer. Ah, soccer. Ah, that's easy. Pegar patadas para adelante and that's it. 
<risa> a repartir. <risa> Okay, good. Now, questions? No, yeah. no problem. Okay. No problem. Yeah. All right, that's good. Okay. Is everybody back? Almost. Okay, good. Uh, well, this, you know, this is one of the different ways, right, to, to practice the verbs in past tense. And also you can, uh, narrate a little bit of your life in the past. Okay, um, I heard some conversations, good, that you were talking about the things that you did in the past, and then that you can mention. Uh, do you know what a, well, yes, you know, you know what a timeline is, right? timeline yes are you familiar with that word yes teacher yes okay who can tell me some examples of a timeline? Mm, for example, my life, for example, mm -hmm. I born, I grow up, and I study more. Okay. Exactly, right? So that's, that's one idea. And what is it used for? ¿Para qué sirve? ¿Para qué nos puede servir una timeline? For identify different moments. Ajá. En la historia, ¿cómo se dice? History, in history. The history on the life of the people. Ajá. In the society. Society. In the society. Okay, let me show you. Okay, I was writing this. Okay. So you can see here. Okay, and 
Perfect. Okay, yes. Yeah, I will need the nuevamente. Okay, good. Now you can see here, for example, I was estaba inventando yo acá. Con mi ídolo de infancia, okay. Spider-Man. Okay. Now you can see here, for example, the this is invented, right? I, uh, the dates, las fechas also are invented. I don't remember exactly. I just wrote something to have only a, an example, right? It says uh, 1960, Peter Parker. Okay, that's the, you can see here some moments in Peter Parker's life. Okay, the first moment is when he was born. And then you can tell with those lines that you see there, De ahí podemos inventar una historia, right? And create a story. And then you can say. Uh, uh -huh. Teacher. Este, hoy dice una historia. Bueno, es, yo estaba viendo, no sé cómo se podría hacer una historia o, o como un ensayo acerca de la personalidad de una persona. En inglés, ¿verdad? Una biografía, como una biografía. Se hace la, el study, the person is this. Una biografía. Ajá. Eh, la idea es, como acá, por ejemplo, si ustedes ven, yo he puesto two, four, seis eventos, right? Eh, y ahí, entre cada uno de esos eventos, uno le va aumentando detalles. Y ya lo va haciendo en forma de prosa. For example, you say, uh, Peter Parker was mm -hmm. born in 1960. Okay, in two years after, he started uh, walking and talking. Okay, so by 1962, he could walk and talk. Uh, he went to um, he went to school for the first time in 1966, 1965. Okay, and he graduated in 1976. In high school, he met uh, Mary Jane, okay? And then after that, they became boyfriend and girlfriend. And Peter Parker became a Spider-Man, a superhero in 1977. Okay, he got married to Mary Jane in 1990. And they lived very happy ever after. Okay, so this is, you know, just to, to put ideas and sentences together. Okay, yes, it's a very cool, a very cool uh, timeline. Que se puede hacer vertical o se puede hacer horizontal, right? Y, en, y esto ayuda a organizar ideas, como alguien dijo ahí, para eh, eventos, right, in history. For example, about life. For example, first we are be born, okay? Okay, después de nacer, ¿qué sucede con los humanos, con nosotros? Be born, what's the next stage? Uh, for example, what's, what's the next stage. ¿Cuál es la siguiente etapa? What's the next stage? Grow up. Exactly, right? So we grow up. Okay, después de crecer. After growing up. Develop, maybe, teacher. Mm. Yes, but what else? Yeah. <clears throat> Grow up. Okay, be born, grow up. Yes. Nacer, crecer.
Yes, you know it. You know it. I'm sure you know. Dear teacher. <laughs> <laughs> so work and work. Get old. Okay, nacemos, crecemos, envejecemos. And die. 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 Mm -hmm. Yes. It's a, it's a fact, right? It's a realidad, right? It's a real thing that happens to everyone. And that we say that we grow up. Okay, be born, grow up, get old, and that. Okay, and then for example, you have here, for example, born. Okay, then here we have a grow up okay this is be born grow up here is when we start getting old okay and the last one is when you die when we die okay so it's just uh, in, in this one for example um a um, timeline nos puede ayudar a recordar momentos del, pas del pasado en... Hello. Hello, hello. Yes. It's okay, Miriam, no problem. No. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so then, uh, for example, when you want to narrate your life, you can use these two strategies, right? Pueden ocupar estas dos estrategias. Y eso les va a ayudar a hablar coherentemente de una manera, eh, let's say, uh, eh, organized, ordenada y organizada, right? First, pensando del momento en que nacimos. Okay, then we can use here, for example, the, the, the year that we were born. Then, grow up, ¿qué pasó? Uh, when we started to talk, when we started to walk, uh, the first time that we went to the kinder, then to uh, primary school, then cuando uh, nos cayó el primer diente, okay, when our first uh, tooth fell, okay? So then this is the, the strategy, and then you are talking about grow up. When you get old, okay, probably now you you have you had children you had more experience about life okay and then obviously you know we can this one we are not going to use it here but unless you are talk, you are talking about a person that is not alive anymore okay good yes Miriam you had a question Then here, heard you. Repeat, please. Uh, what is the what what's the meaning? Uh, stage, stage. Etapa. Etapa. Oh, okay, teacher. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. What else? Only. <clears throat> Only, only okay. teacher. Thank you. Then, use this strategy, okay, when you need to speak, okay, always take a couple of minutes to uh, to organize, right, the ideas that you're going to express, and then you can, and you, we can invent, right? Obviously, um, lo que se necesita es bastante vocabulario, right? Sometimes, of events. For, uh, for example, you can say, uh, I was born, uh, metemos un nombre. Tell me a name. Diga me un nombre. Tom. Tom. Okay. Tom. Okay. We can say that Tom uh, was born in, let's say, 19, what? 1950. Okay. At this, uh, this moment, he is more or less 71. Okay. He's 71. He is a senior, 
Okay, he is a senior. Okay, you have, for example, um, you have a baby, child, then you have a teenager, an adult, middle age, and then you have a senior. Okay, good. And then, for example, we say Tom. Tom was born in 1950, okay? He was a very smart boy, okay? He could talk when he was one year old, okay? He could talk when he was one year old, and he could walk when he was one year and a half, okay? So then, born, talk, and walk in one year and a half. In one year and a half, había nacido, hablaba y caminaba, right? So then you can narrate. Then uh, he went to preschool when he was two years old, okay? Si ya lo van escribiendo en una timeline, ya ahora que vamos por 1900. 52, right? 1952. He was okay. He was uh, he went to primary uh, preschool in uh, when he was two years old. He started he started his primary school in 1955. He was an advanced student. Okay. Then uh, he got he won many awards in primary school. Yeah, no muchos premios, right? He won many awards, like the Grammy Awards, in primary school. He finished high school in uh, 1962, okay? In 1962. So then uh, when he was more or less uh, 12 years old because he was advanced. And then uh, he went to university or oh, he started university when he was 16 years old. Okay, so you see, and then you are narrating event by event and practicing using verbs in past tense. Okay, any questions? No, so far? Questions. Okay, so then tomorrow we are going to practice eh, eh, in a group, like today, eh, vamos a hacer una historia así como la que yo les acabo de decir. Vamos a, van a agarrar a un, eh, un nombre de alguien y van a hacer un como timeline, right? Que tenga 10 eventos, ok? Para que puedan decir tres o cuatro oraciones cada uno. Y luego en esta reunión grande, vamos a, cuando salgamos del grupo, van a leer su historia, ok? Y que va a sonar así como yo le he dicho. Okay, in un orden cronológico, right? And organized, desde que alguien fue nacido, desde que alguien nació, eh, eh, creció, and then uh, what happened, the activities that he did, and everything. Okay? No problem? Entonces, lo único que tienen que hacer para mañana es practiquen las oraciones okay. afirmativas en pasado las y las negativas. Okay? Okay. okay, people, thank you okay, very much. Teacher. Have a very good night. See you tomorrow, you. okay? Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.